Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you step by step how to track your Qcoin cryptocurrency wallet using the Delta app on your phone. Now the first thing you need to do is to go over to Qcoin and log in into your account. Once you've done that you just want to go over to your icon in the top right and then go over to API management. Now once you click on API management you'll be sent over to a page looking similar to this one and you want to go over to create API and you'll then have to fill in the API name. For me this will be Qcoin Delta. And then once you scroll down you'll have to give your API a passphrase. The passphrase needs to be between 7 and 32 characters. And once you fill in your API passphrase you need to scroll down over to the API restrictions and make sure that only general is selected. So if either trade or transfer is selected make sure to unselect them just by clicking right here. And you can then go over to IP restriction and you need to click on no even though it's not recommended but otherwise it won't work and then you just want to click on next. Now you'll then have to fill in your trading password and once you've done that you need to click on confirm and you'll then see that your API key has been created. So now you need to go over to your mobile phone and install the Delta app on your phone. Now I've already done so. Now what you need to do once you've installed the app is to go over to the add new portfolio. So you just want to drag it to the right or click on the three lines in the top left and then click on add new portfolio. You can then go ahead and give your new portfolio tracker a name. For me this will be Qcoin and you can then just click on create. You'll then see that under my portfolios the new Qcoin wallet has been created. Your new portfolio starts here. That's what you will see when you click on it. Now you just want to click on the plus button and click on connect exchange account. If you would like to add manual transactions of course you could also do so but that's not what this video is about. So make sure to click on connect exchange account and not connect wallet. You then see all the exchanges you can track using the Delta app and you want to scroll down to the bottom until you see Qcoin. Then you just want to click on Qcoin, click on I understand and unfortunately there is no QR code to be scanned so you will need to go ahead and fill in your key manually. Now I personally recommend you transfer this code or key to your own phone. You could do this by sending yourself a WhatsApp or maybe sending an email to your own email address. And yes, that actually works. Now once you've copied your API key, make sure to paste it in. And then you'll need to do the same for the API secret. Now please be aware that you should not share this code with anyone. However, I am going to go ahead and share it with you guys. Because after this video, I'm going to delete the API key I just created. Now in contrary to Binance and most other cryptocurrency exchanges, you also have got something called the passphrase. So this is the passphrase you just filled in at the beginning of this video. And once you've entered it, you can go ahead and select the additional options. So if you would like to import withdrawals or deposits, in this case I'm going to go ahead and click on no. So I'm going to turn the switch off. And when you click on import, you can choose between import all transactions, import all transactions since date, import new transactions only, and I'm going to go ahead and click on import balances only. Then you just need to click on I understand, and you can then go ahead and click on add connection. Now once you've done that, You'll see that it needs some time to connect or to sync. And you just want to click on sync all connections. And now you'll just have to wait some time. You'll see that when I go over to all of my wallets. And I click on the Qcoin wallet. My Qcoin portfolio or wallet has just been added to the Delta portfolio tracker. If you've still got any questions at all. Make sure to go ahead and ask me in the comments down below. So I can help you out. If you found this video helpful. Let me know by leaving a like. Or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.